I know that many of our friends are upset, and I'm upset too. I'm upset by what I saw and what I heard that night. Uh, again, that does not exemplify what we do here at Fresno State in preparing the next generation of leaders. And I think it's very important for us to condemn that part of what was done and said. And at the same time, as we uphold our First Amendment rights that all of us enjoy, the, the most important thing, I believe, is for us to continue to role model leadership here on this campus. And we are working hard every single day to educate our students to be successful, to be leaders. And we're doing that better than ever because the community has been supportive of us. And I ask them to, to continue that support and to trust that we'll make the appropriate determination. Uh, a single set of tweets does not define the success of our university. We're bigger and stronger and more dynamic than ever, and I ask the community to continue their support for our university, and our best days are certainly ahead. So at Fresno State, we're absolutely committed to the freedom of speech for each and every one of us. The concern that I had about those tweets was related to the timing and uh, the fact that it, it lacked any compassion or respect. And what we've been trying to focus on here at Fresno State is the, the idea of having a civic a civil and respectful dialogue even when we disagree. And I have a deep concern with uh, people who are not following those kinds of uh, principles here at Fresno State and not modeling leadership for our students. Ever since I've been president of Fresno State, I've really emphasized the listening part of my job. And I'm especially listening right now to the concerns that everybody has uh, across the board and so I promise that I'll continue to do that and I promise that we will follow our appropriate policies and laws and make the best determination possible just as we do with all big decisions at, un at the university and uh, I want to welcome additional input if our community wants to share more of their concerns I'm happy to listen to those and to to read about them. Uh, there's different ways to do that and, uh, and I think it's important as a public university that we do that, that we offer that opportunity and that we take into consideration the different views that people have on, on topics of, of importance. I'd ask the community to look at the university as a whole and yes I understand why many of us are so upset. I'm upset as well. But I don't think the appropriate action is to do harm to our students. They deserve our support. They're part of the bright future of the Valley. So I ask our community to trust us that we will do the right thing and that our university will get stronger and stronger in the days and, and months and years to come with their support. And it's about the university and the community coming together as one. My message to the students and families is I, I strongly encourage them to continue their plan to come. We received 26,000 applications this year for a class of 5,000 students. Uh, demand is higher than ever before and that's because of the quality work of our faculty and our staff. And again, I wouldn't judge these tweets from one professor as determining the, the success of our university. We're going to review this as quickly as we can and, uh, and we hope to make a determination very soon. We're going to look at all the facts uh, related to this situation, uh, everything that was done and said uh, in the context of our collective bargaining agreement that we have with our faculty union, uh, with applicable policies and laws, and then we're going to make the appropriate judgment uh, for the university following that agreement and following those laws. And, um, and I promise that we will do that in the most thoughtful way possible.